We have something a little special for you right now. A very special guest. He's a speaker who hails uh, from the Twin Cities. We'll try not to hold that against him. Matthew Feeney is a triple threat. He's a stand-up comedian. He is an actor and as a casting director is head of Walden Entertainment. Through his career, he's amassed more than 350 on-screen roles wow. and has been involved with many casting assignments throughout the Midwest and nationally, including spots for clients like Best Buy and major motion pictures such as Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Last Airbender, and Avatar. It is our honor to introduce this evening Mr. Matthew Feeney. Thank you. As Johnny Carson said to his last wife, I won't keep you long. <laughs> it's a great honor to uh, come down here uh, and, and see a wonderful event. Uh, we don't have an equivalent of this in, in Minnesota. We obviously have a film board. We have award ceremonies when the, the two don't come together. So this is just beautiful. Uh, awesome, awesome time. The cool thing is, is actually getting to watch part of these videos, and some of them I wish I could keep playing. I was like, okay, how does that one end? How does that one end? You know, good stuff. Um, I guess I, I'm here as a casting director uh, and as an actor myself. My love is acting. The only reason I got into casting is because I, I'm not a good waiter. <laughs> and you really can't make a living, even in the Twin Cities, just being an actor. So I found out like crew people get paid too. And I go, wow, that's, my first clue though was in community theater. Because in community theater, the orchestra gets paid sometimes and the director and the choreographer get paid and, and us actors don't get paid. And I was like, whoa, crew get paid, this is cool, you know. And I, I started hanging out and meeting with some friends and we said, you know, let's start our own company. Let's do our own uh, show. So we did it. Instead of sitting around complaining that there weren't enough jobs, we created the Wazoo Show. It's still going today, wazoo.tv. And it's a sketch comedy television show. I sold it five years later and started uh, Walden up full time to do casting, but um, opportunities are there. And I, I get tired of people who gripe and complain that there aren't enough and this. You know what? No matter what you are, what your type is, there aren't enough roles for you. Um, I had a, a time where a lady called and said, you know what, there aren't enough roles for 13-year-old Caucasian girls. I'm sorry, the first one was uh, African-American, 13-year-old African-American girls. The next week, literally, a notice came out for 12 to 14-year-old African-American girls. And I put the notice up. I was so excited. And I had another parent write to complain, you know, there's no roles for 13-year-old Caucasian girls. And what, I was like, I can't win, you know. This is, the point is, you got to make your opportunities. That's what this is about. And that's getting into student films, that's doing commercials, that's doing whatever you can get your hands on. And if you can't get your hands on it, start your own. Do it. Just do something. Keep working. It's, it's an awesome experience. I got a uh, complaint from a little girl, 13, 14, 15 year old girl, who said, I'm on the Walden list. I, I, she wanted to be an actor. What do I do to become a professional actor? I said, get on the Walden list. Just go to walden-entertainment.com, sign up, it's free, and you'll get all these notices. She goes, oh, I'm on the list. But all I see is like student films, and I want the Disney stuff. <laughs> I said, well, how many student films have you done? She said, none. I just want Disney. And I looked at her, and I said, how do you expect to be even considered seriously if you don't put your time in and improve your craft. Uh, as an actor myself personally, I take one class every year. So I have gone to Chicago and taken classes at Second City on improv and stand-up. Uh, I've gone to the Purple Rose with Jeff Daniels and taken uh, uh, actors boot camp down there once a year. I still do it. I teach for crying out loud, but I still do it. Keep the craft alive. It, it's an art. And anybody who says they're there and they've made it because they got an award or they have something to hang on their wall, as soon as you stop living in this thing, as soon as you stop growing and stretching, you're dead. It's over. Um, I have a wonderful experience this last week, literally a week ago, 
with a uh, fella who's in a wheelchair. He's 24 years old. He was able-bodied until he was 18. Uh, he's now in a wheelchair with a degenerative nerve disease similar to Lou Gehrig's, uh, but, but it, it's, he can't communicate. It sounds like he has, it's, it's terribly difficult. His dream in this life is to become an actor. He wants to act. So he got on the Walden list. I'm like, go for it. So the first job that came out, we were casting extras for a 1920s speakeasy, and he applied for it. I said, Chad, you're in an electric wheelchair. They didn't have electric wheelchairs in 1920. Okay, he understood. The next one came out was a TV commercial for Medica. Bowling. We needed bowlers. <laughs> Guess who applied? <laughs> Chad, you got to stop. You, you can't apply for everything. I, I understand. I, I, I know. I'm with you. But you can't. The next commercial came out was for Wiley Wallaby Licorice. There were two scenes. First one, we needed 10 extras in an office space, and the other 10 were in a hospital. A little light bulb went off in my head. Ding, 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 ding. I called the director. I said, is it okay to bring this person? He's deaf. He has to sign. He'll have a translator with him. The director said, yeah, that's great. He did it. And he's now appearing in his first television commercial. Um, it's just... <laughs> But what I look at what that young man has overcome to get to where he is, his brain is 100% there, and yet he can't talk and communicate. And most people would say, you have no chance. And he's doing it. He's doing it. And he, he, Lynn Blumenthal, who I work with, a dear friend, she's a premier casting director in town, she worked with him in the class. He took a class, an acting class. And she said, look at that smile. She says, my goal in life right now is to get you a print ad to highlight that smile. Um, what it is is the personality. That's what we look for. People ask as a casting director, oh, what are we going to do to get on your good side? I said, be yourself. As long as you're not a, you know, dork. <laughs> if you're a dork, go into accounting or something else. We don't want you in the acting business. Uh, but how many times have you guys worked with people who are excellent, excellent actors, but they're divas, or they're, they're, they think they're all that, and they're just, they're a pain to work with? Hopefully those people aren't here tonight sitting at your table, or you'd be nodding your head, right? <laughs> the point is, it's more than just skill. It's more than just, you know, being this fabulous actor or actress. It's, it's being who you are, bringing your stuff to the table, and finding opportunities. And if you can't find the opportunities, make the opportunities. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful uh, opportunity with the, the Motion Picture Association, all this stuff here, the, to get active and stay active. And, and people go, well, I won't do unpaid student films anymore. I said, well, that's great. But you're willing to pay somebody $350 to take a class? You know what? There's people that would die for an opportunity to be in the... You learn more on set, even if it's a bad set. I've been on some bad set. Those 350 movie credits? <laughs> or to, I've been on some bad sets, okay? <laughs> you don't rack up numbers like that picking and choosing, let me tell you. <laughs> yes, I am an acting slut. I'll take anything that comes along. <laughs> I, I, I've, I got no pride. I'll do, finally, I'll say I won't do unpaid extra work. That's about as far as it gets. People think being an actor and, oh my God, I, I've been on Frasier. I've actually been on the TV. I was an extra, a featured extra in Frasier. Oh, oh, that's great. I'm like, no, you know what my life is? My life is, last year, I was an extra in a Target commercial. And at four in the morning, we broke out the dog beds in the pet food aisle to sleep on. <laughs> that's the life of an actor. And you know what? That's way more fun than being in a trailer or with an Xbox and m and well, I don't know, I haven't done any of those things, but <laughs> until I get there, that's as much fun as it gets. Um, but we get to have fun, we get to explore life. I, I've had the great privilege of going to South America with Patch Adams, Dr. Patch Adams, the real doctor that Robin Williams played. And this guy is like a hippie dude, he's crazy. And his kids' names are Zig and Zag. <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> And, and he would like come in here and he'd be doing his whoopee cushion right now and he'd be like standing on tables and just doing carefree stuff and, 
And from him, I learned just to, oh, who cares? You know, be yourself, have fun. People get so nervous at auditions, and what you don't realize is, for the most part, the directors and the producers are as nervous, if not more, than you are. Oh, my God, what if we don't get somebody? They're going to know I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, my God. Uh, Jim Brockon is the reason I'm here, a very good friend. The first movie we did. Where are you, Jim? <laughs> the first, correct me if I'm wrong, is it the first movie, Stealing Summer? So stealing summer, and I go into this audition. The audition was held at a public library. And uh, I always got cast as a cop. I, I was a, a, a cop all the time. I was being called in to read for the role of Bruce. I was so excited not to have been in a cop role. I was like pumped. So I go into the audition. I get there, and there's a table lined up with all these headshots of some of the best actors in town, like way above where I am. This is 10, 15 years. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, so I'm nervous. And the director goes, well, tell us about yourself. I said, well, uh, my name's Matthew Feeney, and uh, I just want to say it's so awesome to come in for a movie I'm, uh, that's not a cop. I'm like, he goes, Matthew, uh, the role of Bruce you're reading for is the chief of police. <laughs> I was like, uh, oh, oh, that's good, because I have all the costumes, and I really love playing cops. OK. <laughs> I find out later, these guys have become my friends, their office is next to me, Slate of Mine Productions, now it's called Back to One. Um, all those headshots they had there were bogus. They went and borrowed headshots of other people and put them out to make us feel like they knew what they were doing. So here I am quaking in my pants and Jim and I went through the same experience and they were full of it too, they were acting with props of other headshots. And these guys have gone on and done music videos and all sorts of stuff now. It's, it's awesome. But I, I guess I just want to say no matter what side of the table you're on, no matter how old you are, no matter how fat you are, whether you're in a wheelchair, whether you have braces or glasses, whatever, it doesn't matter. There's a place for you in the movies. And that's what makes it so cool. That's what just makes it absolutely wonderful. Um, and, and I can honestly say Walden Entertainment is the premier extras casting place in, in the Twin Cities, in the state of Minnesota. But, like some of these awards, we're also the only one. So, <laughs> we'll let it go at that. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I will be here afterwards. Would love to meet with you. If anyone is interested in auditioning and getting audition notices, it's absolutely free. You just enter your email. It's walden-entertainment.com. Uh, or MatthewFeeney.com. Both of them have a link to it. Sign up. It's real easy if you want to travel. It's not that bad of a trip, you know? Four hours. I was on the motorcycle today to come down because I heard it's supposed to be 65 tomorrow. <laughs> of course, it snowed two days ago, so who knows what's going to happen. But guys, we're brothers. Iowa, Minnesota, Michigan, wherever. We, we want to make movies. We're all in this brotherhood together. And um, yeah, let's all go do it. Have fun. God bless everybody. Peace. <laughs>